Hi everybody, welcome to the video. This video is about setting up Ista to work with your BMW. Um, for me, this is a E-Series E70 X5M 2010 model. And I recently purchased this car and I want to set up the Ista program, the diagnostics software, to be able to do some DIY maintenance and not take it to the mechanic for every little thing. So if you're in a, a tough spot uh, and you're not able to set up the ISTA software on your laptop and successfully connect it to your car and uh, be able to read the car, this is the video for you. I'll go over all the basic and um, important tips on getting ISTA to work. I'll also show you what cable I'm using. So here's the cable. This I bought from uh, Amazon and um, I'll share a link to this cable on this side it is an OBD and on the other side it's a USB this cable has a switch which you can use to switch it from K can or D can interface so let's start with the ISTA setup folder as you can see, my ISTA setup folder, which I downloaded from the internet, is about 21.6 dB after extraction. Once we go in there, you can see there are a few folders. The first thing we need to do is, before you start installing ISTA, the first thing you need to do is go to Tools, go into this first folder and find BMW Standard Tools Installer, and you have to install this first. After this is installed, you can go and install ISTA which is down here, ISTA standalone installer and get this done. After you are done with installing ISTA, go to this folder in tools and install this. Just overwrite it if you already have it in your computer and then use this file. So when you click on this file, it asks you to run it and then you click on yes. Just click on yes and that, in, that edits your computer's registry. Uh, for what's needed to start to work so I've already done this but I can do it again there we go and it says keys and values contained in this file have been successfully added to the registry okay next step is go to C++ redistributable and install that so once you have your ISTA program installed you go into your C drive and you will have this new folder there Make sure you are not deleting anything from here because ISTA uses uh, the root folder of your C drive to work. So you go into this folder and then you go into bin and then you find the, the EDIABAS file. You right click on it and you open it with notepad and this is how it should look. The interface should say equals to std colon obd that's what it should say if you have something else there change it to this and then save it and close it the next thing you need to do is you need to find the next file which is obd now you go into obd open that as a note notepad file and make sure the first port here says COM1. All right. So after we are done editing these two files, we will open Device Manager. Now you can see there in my laptop, there is no section where it says ports. When we connect this, um, USB to this laptop and now you can see I have a ports category make sure this cable comes up as USB serial port if it's not showing as what you can see here you need to install the drivers this cable comes with a CD and um, it has all the drivers you need now I know today's laptops don't have a CD drive but somehow manage getting the data off from that CD and put it in your uh, laptop so that you can install the correct drivers. 
usually you should be able to use drivers which windows can search online and just you know it should usually work by itself next step is we right click here and we go to properties and then we go to port settings and then we go to advanced and here you can select what ports you want to use and we need to use com1 com1 selected here and the next thing you need to select is latency timer usually it's on 16 but you have to change it to 1 and then just hit ok and you are set with all the cable settings the reason I said you need to get uh, the stuff off of um, the CD is because you have one very important um, uh, item there so for me I have all the CD stuff here and in this folder I have the DCAN USB driver and then I have this little application that says DCAN and what I need to do is oh before that I'll show you this so for a lot of people what happens is when they connect this to the car which I'll do it just right here come on a red light shows up and then it goes off after a while so now it is connected and the LED is off what I need to do is we turn the ignition on and it says over there that the ignition is switched on now what I'm going to do is um, disconnect it and connect it again there we go and that's the red light and we open up this software um, enter com port 1 right config 1 dcan 1 and say the adapter not connected now the reason is I think that this switch is on the right I make it go on the left and then We put it in there ignition is on reopen this one 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 and there we go that's all done after this is done you can close this find ista and run as administrator click on yes and here it's loading up Then you go to settings and go to vehicle interface and make sure you have this setting on. You click on OK. Go to operations and read out vehicle data and then complete identification. And hopefully it will work. Now when it's working you can see the light blinks so it's still doing its thing and you can see it's blinking there we go blinks green and red it does that when it's working there we go so it's still going on and there we go still going on And there we go we are in now you can select maybe combi here call up ECU functions and you can see it shows up what all you can do 
diagnosis scan control units outside temperature sensor read state and you can see the data here all right so that's pretty much it that's all the things you need for the ista to work thank you for watching i hope it works for you any questions feel free to comment and i'll see if i can help thank you so much again bye